If you're like most people, you love taking pictures on your phone and looking back at them later. However, if you're only keeping one copy of your photo library on your iPhone and not backing it up somewhere else, there's always a chance you could lose your entire photo collection. Want to preserve your iPhone photo library on your computer? I'll show you how. I'm Jessica from TechBoomers.com. In this video, I'll be showing you four different ways to transfer photos from iPhone to your PC. Now let's get started. The first method I'll be showing you is using the iCloud software for Windows. This method makes it easy to have your photos automatically imported from your iPhone to your PC. To begin setting this up, open the web browser on your PC and search for Download iCloud for Windows. Then, click the link to the iCloud for PC download page. Click Download to get the free software on your PC. Wait for the download to finish, then click on the download to run the installer. When the installation is complete, you can open your PC's start menu and click iCloud to launch the software. Now, sign in to the same Apple ID account you use on your iPhone. Click Options in the Photos section of the window that appears on your screen. Click the checkbox labeled iCloud Photo Library to enable automatic download of your photos stored in iCloud to your PC. Then click Apply. In order to have your photos sync between your devices, you'll also need to enable iCloud Photo Library on your iPhone. Open your iPhone settings. Then, scroll down and tap Photos. Tap the switch labeled iCloud Photo Library to have your photos and videos automatically upload to your iCloud storage space, then allowing them to be synced on your PC. When the switch is green, the feature is enabled. To view your photos on your PC, open your Start menu and click iCloud Photos. The second method you can use is to download your photos from the iCloud website. This one allows you to pick and choose which photos you want to save to your PC rather than automatically downloading your entire photo library. The first step to this method is to enable iCloud Photo Library on your iPhone, the same way we showed you in the first method. Then, open your computer's browser and go to iCloud.com. Log in to your Apple ID account. Now, click the Photos icon to access your pictures and videos. Scroll through your library to find some pictures you want to save. Click on a photo to select it. If you want to save more than one photo at once, hold down the control button on your keyboard while selecting photos. Once you've selected some pictures you want to save to your PC, click the download button. The photos will be saved to your PC's downloads folder. Another method you can use to transfer photos between your iPhone and PC is to use a third-party software. There are tons of options, but one we highly recommend is Dropbox. You can download the software for your PC and the app for your iPhone. The app will automatically guide you through importing your photos the first time you open it. We have a full course on Dropbox if you'd like to learn more about how it works. The last method we'd recommend using is to simply attach photos to an email and send them to yourself. To do this from your iPhone, open the Photos app. Tap Select in the top right corner. Then tap each photo you'd like to send to your PC. When you're done, tap the Share icon. Now select Mail. Be sure to enter your own email address in both the To and From boxes so you can open the email from your PC. Then tap Send. 
Once the pictures have been sent, you can open up your email inbox on your PC to find the email you sent to yourself. Then, simply download the images you attach to the email to save them to your PC. If you're a Gmail user like I am, click the downwards arrow icon to download the pictures. If you use a different email service, look around your screen for a download button. No matter which of these four methods you choose to try out, we hope this helped you with preserving your photos and videos from your iPhone on your computer. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.